what you're watching right now is something the cool kids like to call swimming in traffic. Now, I've been driving for about six years, but I have never seen anything so stupid. What I'm about to show you is probably the dumbest thing you can do in a car. This makes me genuinely scared to leave my house, knowing this car could be behind me. Now the reason you don't see many drivers like this on your everyday roads is because there's this really cool mechanism called natural selection. Now, it's just a theory that I have, just a game theory, but I suspect if you drive like this for long enough, it's only a matter of time until you're not so lucky, just like this next guy. You gotta appreciate the calm, lo-fi music in the background. It really takes your mind off the fact he's literally putting multiple people's lives at risk. Also, is his camera underneath the car? Also, this guy literally drives around him as his car is flipped over, which is insane. And in case you haven't guessed, this is extremely illegal. If you pass a cop driving like this, you're going to jail. So this guy gets busted for being a menace to society. But what ends up happening is the two cells in his brain connect and tell him to run. It's pretty common among swimmers to run from the cops because they're already going to jail if they pull over. And a lot of these guys aren't even legally allowed to drive on the road and their cars don't have license plates, so it's really the only option. And most of them get away, because cops aren't willing to risk their lives catching these people. Now what I find insane is the guy in this car, who is committing multiple felonies by the way, is the same person who runs the channel these clips are uploaded on. And this isn't the only channel. There's an entire community centered around people going sicko mode in their vehicles and all the comments congratulate them, which is crazy because they're risking other people's lives. But it does make for some epic content. So this guy, it looks like he found his way to New York City. Not the best place to be for a police chase, but that's not gonna stop him. Maybe these speed bumps will. Now, I've read online that if you're really good at swimming, if you're a level 100 swimmer, let's say, you won't actually interfere with other cars, so you're weaving in and out of traffic and the other drivers don't have to react. Um, I kind of find this hard to believe because if someone cut in front of me like this, I definitely would react in some way and it wouldn't be good. But uh, clearly this guy is no level 100 swimmer because this entire chase, he almost runs over multiple people. And of course, this is all uploaded to YouTube. So, uh, let's hope his insurance provider doesn't see these videos. If you thought you were a good driver, think again, because this guy is in an entirely different dimension. I think these videos are satisfying to watch because we've all sat in traffic and you can see like spaces between the cars in front of you. Um, and you're like, hey, maybe my car can fit in that space. Right, but I'm not gonna actually do it because I'm not that guy. Well, for these people, they are that guy, right? They don't care, they don't care about traffic. It's not even a thing for them, they just swim through it. And it's very epic to watch, although it's probably not very safe. Personally, if I committed multiple crimes on my way to work, I wouldn't post them to YouTube. Even though the license plates are blurred, I would imagine it wouldn't be too hard for the internet to find their identities if someone actually tried. But yeah, I found this topic interesting and wanted to make a video. If you liked it, subscribe, and I'll see you later.